Good afternoon, everyone. Some of you may know me. I'm Stephen McElhatton from Downlands College. And if you've been following the college over the last few years, you know for the last 18 months we've been intending to try and uh, organise a year five and six set of classes that will be able to augment our seven to 12 school. And of course that has come to fruition and in part of that uh, organisation has involved making sure that we have the best people that we can that are going to run our new junior school. And uh, on this particular occasion, I would like to introduce to you, and on, on my right, uh, Mrs. Lee Lee. Hi. Hi. Would you like to tell us something about yourself, Lee? Sure. Um, I actually come from a, a background in Catholic education, primary Catholic education. Many years of teaching, you know, particularly in middle school, so four fives through to six sevens when they were originally sevens in primary school have a strong passion for the literacy world. So I like to see that literacy actually moves across all the key learning areas that the children uh, undertake. I also have a background in middle leadership where I've been uh, instrumental in bringing the new curriculum into the, to the two schools that I worked in re more recently. Mm. Okay. And to my left, Mr. Keith Blakey. Would you like to, Keith, tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Listen, no, I do things in a little bit reverse. I've, uh, I've been teaching for 12 years, 10 of which have been with Catholic Education in Charters Towers, Oakey and Pittsworth. But I'm just really enjoying the challenge of education where I can make a bit of a difference, I think, to children's lives. Uh, uh, I went to Gatton Ag College back in the mid-80s mid and I've got a horticulture background, so plant breeding. So I like to try and bring that into the classroom uh, if I can and I find my wide uh, array of uh, experiences has been so beneficial to my, my teaching career. Okay, thank you Keith. It, as most of the families would know who have children that attend Downlands, we have an extensive co-curricular program as well. It's why we are called the, the School of Choice and I do know that over the next 12 months both, of, both Lee and uh, Keith will be looking to engage in that particular program and I think from, from Lee, your point of view, might be debating? Debating, uh, lots of sports too, okay. Stephen. I'm very into touch, netball, uh, athletics as well. So, yeah, a whole range of things. Uh, verse speaking, so I don't know if they're, yeah, I'm really happy to be a part of anything to do with the performing arts too, because okay. I know that that's a, a fairly big thing at the school here. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Okay, and Keith, your, your interests? Yeah, I've got, got a quite a strong rugby union background. I saw a good mate of mine, Peter Healy, this morning, who works at the school. Uh, also, cricket. Uh, I, I was a bit involved with the Cattle Club up in Charters Towers, which I think I would like to go ahead with as well. And also, I've, I've been doing a fair bit of hiking lately, so yeah, any trekking or camping, and I'll, I'll turn my hand to anything. Please, come, Stephen. Part of the idea of establishing Year 5 and 6 was because of uh, parent demand, and many of the children are coming to us uh, next year uh, will have siblings in the school. And one of the expectations of parents, as we would, we would think, is that they be involved in all of the co-curricular activities and all of the facilities that the college would offer. And we thought that was what was very, very attractive to many of our parents. So as a result, our science laboratories, our food technology, mm -hmm. our swimming pool, our mm -hmm. various sporting fields, I think we've got about eight or nine that we can use, and our farm at the back will all be utilised as the young fives and sixes assimilate into our, our senior school. But I think more importantly, what parents may want to know particularly is what's going to happen in the classroom and what the vision for education in five and six will be. So Keith, I'll throw it to you in the first yeah, instance. Any what, really, what really attracted me to this job, and I probably can speak on behalf of Lee and myself, it's basically a, a blank canvas. We, Lee and myself, can set the teaching and learning culture uh, and really set a high expectation for student development because at, at the core of my sort of teaching is, is, is quality teaching equals quality learning. That's from, from my perspective. And then we can look at our student achievement from there and make sure that they're, they're growing every day. Okay. And Lee, any quick thoughts? Just a, a couple. Obviously, you know, we really look at the fact that with a, a primary background, we look at the fact that every student has the right to learn. Every student has the right to do their very best we will set expectations, of course, and they will be geared around just what we feel that the children are capable of achieving. Mm -hmm. And we will support them in any way that we can to do that. And obviously with the support of the school mm -hmm. and uh, resources and personnel that are uh, available to us, we'll take advantage yeah, absolutely. of Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. So just to perhaps let parents know a bit of final information. At the moment, 
We have uh, 30, 30 guaranteed enrolments coming into the school in years five and six for next year. At this stage, we anticipate having two five and six composite classes of roughly equal ability. If there are in, any parents out there who are contemplating bringing their child along to Downlands for year five and six next year, um, you would need to be in contact with us fairly soon. We are going to uh, cap the class at some point and uh, we still have a number of people that are, um, haven't quite got back to us for various reasons. But without doubt, there will be two separate classes and we will put some form of limit on it. So if you need to contact anybody at the college, um, please ring the main office and ask for the enrolment personnel and they will assist you with that. In the meantime, uh, we look forward to uh, meeting you if you are a new parent looking at this or a new student looking at this. Um, very early in, uh, in the new year, I suspect, uh, around about the Friday before, or Friday, perhaps 10 days before school comes back, we will have a, uh, a twilight session where parents will, and children will be brought in to see the facility for year five and six, meet the teachers, get a better understanding of the curriculum on offer, and uh, just to feel more accustomed to the type of education that Downlands would offer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.